first perch. You did it. All it takes is Chips walking into the room and frightening him. Oh my gosh, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Just grip with those little teensy feet. Being a bird's hard, darling. Oh. You've got it, you've got it. Just stabilize yourself. You've got both legs on the stick. Oh my gosh, it's exhausting being a baby bird. I think this little guy still needs a day or two. Oh my gosh, he has to be so worn out. A day or two inside the nest. He's okay, and he has good leg grip. He just hasn't quite figured out how to manage being a bird yet. He's trying so hard to fledge, like a few days before he's really truly ready. So I'll probably see if he wants to go back in the nest box for another day or two of cooking. Oh my goodness. He's trying so hard to get up to his parents. Don't worry guys, I know it looks kind of alarming. He's just really intent on trying to fledge before he's actually strong enough. And I think if he had siblings, he would stay in the nest box a little bit longer and continue growing, but he's just being so impatient. So I'll see if I can get him trying to fly again. He has successfully flown around quite a bit. Are you gonna come down, Daddy? Are you gonna come check on the baby? So we'll just have to continue to wait and watch. Oh, baby, go, 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 you can do it. We'll have to wait and watch and see how the baby decides how hunger and determination are going to drive it to become a big bird. But it is doing very well, but I did check the timeline and he's definitely trying to fledge much earlier than they normally would and I wonder if that's because he's a singlet and there's no siblings just to hang out with. And that may be it, but we're just going to keep an eye on him and make sure that he grows big and strong. Again, I don't know if it's a he or she, that won't, we won't know that for months. But hopefully you'll make it, little one. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Look at you, my angry little chicken. You're up on the branch. You're on the bamboo branch with mom and dad. I'm so proud of you. It took him a few days to figure it out, and he's still not quite the most graceful uh, of the birds about being up there. And he's a little exhausted because he's been totally exhausting himself. I've been trying to get him to go back into the nest box. Can I get closer? Oh, it's my angry little chicken. It's my angry little chicken. Hi, guy. Oh, no, you're okay. You're okay. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just settle right on down and get comfy. Oh, my goodness. He's so cute. It took him a few days to figure this out, though. So <laughs> it wasn't like it was an instantaneous thing. And that's because he is definitely a lot younger. Hi, Bubbly. Is Dad keeping an eye on you? He's definitely a lot younger than they normally are when they try to get up and try to leave the nest. You're okay, you've got a good grip there, don't you? If your dad would just stop smacking you in the face as he flies next to you. But as you can see, both his little feet are gripping and he's got some sense of balance and he is making it work for himself. So I am pretty happy about this. Hi little one, who's my little fluff nugget? You're my little fluff nugget. I'm pretty happy about this, and he should be good to go, as long as his parents continue feeding him. Ooh, Asiai, looking so good next to him. Oh yeah, Asiai. Oh, so cool. But yeah, his his parents have been feeding him. Uh, he'll go, tweet, 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 and then Persimmon will show up and like shove food down his mouth. Oh, are you trying to fly? Okay. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, chicken. I'm so proud of you. Chips wants us to just name this one chicken because we've been calling him chicken for so long. And I'm not sure if that's what his last name will end up being because everybody else, the point is to name him after fruits and berries for me because they're like little happy fruits and berries. But we'll have to see what we think as chicken gets older and we get to know chicken's colors and chicken's gender. We have no idea yet. As you can see, the nodules are starting to go down. Its eyes look quite different. There's no egg tooth on the end of its uh, beak anymore. And now it's just learning how to fly and still being fed a little bit by mom and dad, but also getting a chance to learn how to eat and how to drink and how to carry on like a big bird. 
So I'm going to take good care of them and we'll keep an eye on this little one. And I hope you make it. You're almost through all of the hurdles to just becoming a happy Gouldian Finch. So stay strong, little one. Yeah, I love you. Oh, you're such a little chicken.